Hello, this is Nitin Dahad with the Times, and I'm talking to Shariman Jamil, who's the uh, CEO of uh, SMD uh, Semiconductor in Malaysia. Hello, Shariman. How Hi. are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Now, we're, we haven't uh, covered much of what's going on in Malaysia uh, in recent times, uh, but I've, I've done a lot in many countries, including Vietnam, India, uh, Thailand. Tell me a little bit about, uh, before we talk about SMD, talk to me about the background in, in Malaysia. What's, what's the big thing in semiconductors? Yeah, Malaysia traditionally was actually pretty much active in uh, chip manufacturing. In fact, uh, based on the data uh, last year, Malaysia was on the sixth. Uh, it's a top 10 uh, chip manufacturing countries in the world. Mm. Um, I think now uh, Malaysia is moving towards a traditional manufacturing going into a more higher value added activities okay. such as chip designs and looking at uh, new technology, new niche technology. Yeah. Okay. And uh, in terms of what you've been doing, you're in a little region of Malaysia. So just tell me a little, little bit about that region and what you're doing there. Yes. Um, SMD Semiconductor is actually from Sarawak. Okay. Sarawak is one of the states under Malaysia and we are within the Borneo Island. Okay. So uh, Sarawak is a very uh, unique state in Malaysia and we do have these ambitions to be a global hub uh, leader in that part of the region in semiconductors. So traditionally Sarawak was always focusing on manufacturing volume productions. So I think with the establishment of SMD, we are here to spearhead our local industries moving from just a mere manufacturing industries going into higher value added where we focus more on foundry and also chip design. Okay. Yeah. And that's your background, isn't it? Before we go into SMD, yes, your yes. background. So you're, like, just give me a little bit of a... Yes, uh, you've been all over the world. Yes, I'm, I'm, I studied in the UK. Well, I did my first degree and my master's degree in the UK. Yes, yeah, sorry. And, and in Surrey and also in uh, Queen Belfast, Northern Ireland. Yeah. So I love UK and I think that there are uh, things... We, we believe that there's a new collaboration with the UK that we can actually address a new market in parts of uh, Southeast Asia region. So this is why we are here. We are here to work with the team mm. to make something new to change the world. And we think that by having this partnership between Sarawak and the UK, EU and US ecosystems, we can create a more solid solutions and business model. No, I think yeah, when you graduated, you went to the US, you went to Japan. So you had quite a few experiences in different so yes. semiconductor firms as a chip designer. Yes, I am, my, my, my first job was in the Silicon Valley with Spansion, a, yes. a flash memory chips company, and been moving quite a lot. And I just got back recently to Sarawak, and that's where I was tasked mm. by the government to spearhead and to establish these new industries for Sarawak. Okay, yeah. that takes us to SMD. Yeah. Um, you established that two years ago with, with help from the government, uh, from the Sarawak government. Tell us what was the motivation and what, what, what have you achieved so far? You just launched something at yeah. uh, MWC, Mobile World Congress. Yeah. Sarawak is very ambitious in renewable energy. Yeah. You know, uh, even our electricity, 75% is powered by hydropower. Wow. So we have these aspirations of establishing hydropowered fabs with all the uh, facilities and the advantage that we have. And one of the area technology that we are looking at is in the compound semiconductor. Yeah. This is where we feel that partnering Sarawak and UK is very important. Yes. UK is very strong in they, compound semiconductor. They have semiconductor. the compound semiconductor expertise, yes. And we are trying to address one of the key pressing issues with our data center and grid back home. Yes. As you know that, you know, when we talk about artificial intelligence, a lot of people talk about AI, but it is only processed at the cloud or at the system level. Yeah. So we are trying to create a new solution where we go down to the lowest level, at the circuit level, where we can create those AI algorithm. And this AI algorithm is used for power electronics application, power converter for our grids, for motor drive, and yes. a few other applications. This is very exciting. Compound semiconductor is very exciting. We feel, we believe, SMD believes that those who can produce a solid commercial solution in the next few years will be the one in the market. So this is the race that we are in together. And I think we are here not to compete, but to find the right partners 
for this journey. Now, tell me about like, the, the the products, the power control. Uh, you say it's the first AI powered yeah. uh, power controller. Yeah. Just tell us a little bit what, what it is and what, where you are in terms of manufacturing with that. We we are actually in the TRL six and okay. well, I would say it's in TRL six or seven. And the best part of it is we are working co-developing this technology with our UK partners. And uh, there, there's a lot of exciting uh, journey on this, but essentially. What we are trying to do is we are trying to develop this solution and we're going to deploy this solution for Sarawak as a test bed to tell the rest of the world that this technology works. So that's the first focus that we are working on at the moment. And can you get to volume manufacturing with your products? Yes, yes. We, we, we invite uh, partners, system integrator partners from EU and UK to work with us because by having this partnership, we believe that we can create new market in the Southeast Asia. Okay. So and that's something that you, you talked about partnerships with the US, but um, with current geopolitical sort of activity, what, what are the big challenges for you in terms of partnering in, in the US? Well, we, we, we try to be different okay. in terms of how do we engage with our potential partners. We know that the trend now is everything is going back into the US, the manufacturing, particularly the semiconductors. But we feel that is not sustainable in the long term. Right. So we're trying to tell our partners that we have alternative solution for you, in which we believe that US is highly innovative, UK, Europe, Europe is highly innovative, and it's the best place to build your prototypes, low to mid volume productions. But if US or the partners are thinking about conquering the world, then it can no longer sustain to produce a volume manufacturing in the US. That is where you need, they need to look at alternative strategic second source of supply chain. Okay. And this is something that we offer to our partners. Now, what's, what's the vision for SMD? What's, what's next for you? Apart from, you talked about the collaborate, building yeah. collaborations partnerships. We want to build ecosystem in Sarawak. Okay. And we want to link these ecosystems to our partners in UK in Europe and in the US. We feel that this network and ecosystem is very important for our industries in the long run to be more sustainable, to create more innovative solutions. And why should they come to you? As I mentioned that uh, we do have a certain advantage if they partners with us. For example, if you're looking at volume manufacturing in Sarawak, we are green powered uh, manufacturing yeah. facilities. We have uh, clean water, we have talent, we are developing talent, we are very cost effective, we are innovative, and we are neutral. You talk about talent, I think you said you delivered on a requirement of the government to create 60 skilled yeah. uh, jobs yeah. in design, is that right? Yes, okay. yes. And we are already in the third cohort back home on producing these pipelines of talent in chip design, in semiconductors. Okay. So we, we are in. In, in the progress, but uh, as you know that semiconductor is a game of knowledge and skills. It's, it's, it's a game of quality rather than a quantity. Right. So we pretty much uh, focus on trying to deliver that part. Well, Shariman, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. It was uh, nice to have a chat with you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.